Alright, so this is a poem I wrote for that lovely person I call my mother um, about a month ago when she helped me through some really rough times. So uh, this is in lieu of pessimism. Life is a tragic mess that we try to make beautiful. And I don't know how and I will never know why some are treated like God while others are the saints that die. Now I don't know what I believe or whom I trust because I'm not religious but I once was until belief and hope killed my soul. I don't think I will ever know when I lost that faith because time has blended the days. And I can't quite make out whether my cowardice got, causes God to push you to the brink and suffer on behalf of my penance, or if he never existed, just this poor, misunderstood atmosphere. Whatever it is, I blame myself. Your physicality is one that will no longer read me books or one to hear the words I speak. To go on walks and get lost in the trees and sleep beneath the stars. Certainly it's not one to make you notice your surroundings. But you're not alone. Tunnel vision stiffens us all. And in all your years you've never been one to travel the world. But during all your storms you've never hid under the blankets. You've never been one to drown in the rain. You took me by the hand and we charged into the violence just to find the silver mirror on the impermeable surface of life. We viewed our standings. We documented our change. And most journeys down the rapids led to tears as me and you fell off the raft. But when winter hit that coming year, we were frozen on top of the waves, and the snow fell. And I was not one to stand forward, and I just be hid behind your strong frame when it was in its weakest state. And I remember that night on what seemed to be your deathbed, which seemed to be ours. And my tears welled up because I thought you were going to slip away. And I stood in the lobby during a deathly winter storm, and the clouds broke and descended an angel whose sound was silenced by the double pane glass. And a man stepped out with a gift in the shape of an icebox, and salvation was announced, and you made it through. But my days, but my darkness, in me has seen the days through bitter reflection. I now realize that your life came at the price of someone like me losing their life in the storm just hours before. And I don't want pessimism wrapped around my finger because thankfulness deserves much more. And in lieu of pessimism, optimism within me will help me find the way far from devil's play. So to all of those who have perished on behalf of others, or those who attempts at salvation have never been answered, I remind you of the fire that's getting old and that still has a chance. No matter how unlikely, never let cowardice get in your way. Thank you.